the most important and exciting event that's occurred in the whole history of civilization has occurred in the last 200 years in the richest countries in the world. 200 years ago in France, which was then the richest country in the world, the chance of a person um, who was born of living beyond the age of 27, 28, 29 was just about 50-50. That is, the life expectancy of the average person in the richest country in the world was less than 30 years. And it had been less than 30 years for 10,000 years, 20,000 years, a very, very long time. Very, very little had happened over the whole history of the human enterprise. And then just in the past 200 years, which is a mere blip in history, life expectancy at birth has gone up from under 30 to well over 70 in the rich countries in the world. And in the poorer countries of the world, another extraordinary achievement has occurred. In just the 30 or 40 years since World War II, life expectancy has gone up 15 or 20 years throughout the whole poor part of the world. So I ask you, has anything else that's ever happened in human history come close to this in its importance? This has meant that people have not only lived longer, but they're living healthier, and they're living better lives. Our material lives, too, have been getting better rather than getting worse. The um, newspaper stories you customarily read would tell you that we should be worrying about running out of natural resources, copper, wheat, um, what have you. But the history of the past 200 years, in fact, the whole history of humanity, has shown us the extraordinary event, contrary to all common sense, that the more that we use of natural resources, the more we have of them. That is, rather than natural resources becoming more scarce as we use them, they have been becoming more available. When I say more available, I mean that when we look at natural resources with the measure that we as economists use, and the measure that's important to us as consumers, that is, how much do we have to pay to get these resources, we see that the price of natural resources has been going down rather than up throughout all of human history. Let's take an example. If you want a ton of copper delivered on your front lawn, it would only cost you about one twentieth as much of the most valuable thing you have, which is your human time, to earn enough to buy a ton of copper as it did 200 years ago. And it will only take you about one two thousandth as much of your time now to earn enough to buy a ton of copper as it would have 4,000 years ago. And it's the same story with every single natural resource. It's the same with iron. It's the same with aluminum. It's the same, you name it, it's the same story that all of the natural resources, and that includes all the foods, wheat and corn and rice, all of them have been becoming more available rather than more scarce, contrary to all common sense, to all standard Malthusian thinking.